Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today, we will learn about an advanced SQL topic, the CTE or also known as the common table expressions in SQL. That's it. If these are the type of videos you'd like to watch, then hit that like and subscribe buttons and the bell icon to get notified. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. Just for a quick info, if you want to upskill yourself to master SQL, data analytics, and land your dream job or grow in your career, then you must explore Simply Learn's SQL certification course. Simply Learn offers an industry recognized SQL training and certification program for aspiring SQL developers and data analysts. Through this program, you will gain knowledge and work ready expertise in skills like real world problem solving, data analytics, MySQL Workbench, problem solving, or a dozen others. That's not all, you also get the opportunity to gain an engaging learning experience featuring demo sessions and real world examples. You will gain dedicated live sessions by faculty of industry experts in top tier product companies along with the academicians from top universities. After completing these courses, many of our learners have transitioned into a data analyst role or a SQL developer role as a fresher or moved on to a higher paying job and profile. If you are passionate about making your career in this field, then make sure to check out the link in the pinned comment and description box below. And without further delay, let's get started. So, what exactly is a CTE, you ask? Now, if you are a beginner in SQL, let's say you wanted to club two different tables or more different tables, maybe three or four, right? So, you will be using one keyword, which is join, right? And let's say you may have to create a query in such a way that you have to club different tables and you have to extract the results from one table into another and finally create a output table right so this might be sounding a little too complex so basically what cte does is it acts as a temporary table right now you can write a query and save it as a cte right and that particular resultant table from CTE will not be created, but will be in the memory as a temporary data or an intermediate resultant data, right? Now, whenever you want to use a join or whenever you want to use the same query inside a bracket or inside something in your query, you can just simply use the name of the CTE and then the data you require, the columns you require and done. You will get the data now this might be a little too complicated to understand in just mere words now let's just go through the formal definition of what exactly the cte and what it does and then let's quickly so it's a little too complicated to understand it just with mere words so let's get started with the practical examples but before that let's understand a formal definition of what exactly is a cte in sql so cte also known as or also called as the common table expression or some people also are used to call it as a width expression so the keyword is width so a common table expression in sql is a temporary result set that you can define within a query as i said it helps to break down the complex queries make the code more readable and allows you to reuse the result set multiple times within the same query just you need to use the name of the CTE in the places where you want in your query and it reduces the code length as well as the execution time. Now, CTEs are defined using the with keyword as we discussed before, followed by the CTE name, right? So for every uh, column name or anything in your data set, you give a name, right? Similarly, when you are using CTEs in SQL, you also need to give a name to the CTE and that particular name will be used in your subquery positions that will reduce the query length and execution time. So you should be giving a name and the query that generates the result set. The CTE is available only during the execution of that particular 
query or specific query right so as i said the cte table the resultant table which is created while you are using the cte will not be created as a permanent table in the database right it will be a temporary or intermediate result which will be active as long as your current query which is using the cte is active now let's go to the demonstration mode where we will try to create some simple queries right and we will understand how exactly a cte can be beneficial in those situations now let's go to the mysql workbench this is my mysql workbench so i have a lot of tables here we have the credit card data set we have the circular data set slp data set says superstore world etc right so we will be using the superstore data set uh, i mean the database so firstly we need to write in the query which means that i am going to use the superstore database right sorry superstore so i uh, prefer using uh, smaller case or lower case for database names and column names and uh, uppercase for the keywords for example here use is uppercase and superstore is the name of the keyword right so uh, that is for uh, identifying or easy readability which is a keyword and which is a name right so let's execute this query and have access to the superstore dataset and in superstore dataset i have one table called as excel data now let's quickly check what we have in excel data so let's start from excel data here we have row id order id order date ship mode customer key, everything right so we have uh, region we have uh, sales quantity discount profit rate so we have n number of possibilities n number of reports that we can generate but let's try to keep it simple let's try to find out unique regions right select unique of regions right or just regions excel data group by regions so let's quickly execute this statement and see the output or maybe we can make some modifications to it right instead of that you might want to use you might want to use distinct function so that you don't get all uh, 10,000 plus rows so basically uh, this particular data set has about 10,000 or more rows in it and it's not real it's completely made up report using artificial intelligence so we use chat gpt to create 10,000 rows of data for 30 years maybe from 2000 or 2001 to up to 2030 or 31 right so we don't want all those 10,000 plus columns oh, sorry, sorry rows so let's use a distinct here and uh, try to exit this statement so that we get uh, five uh, of uh, the regions what we have so there you go we have um, five regions as expected northeast southwest and central now you can also uh, select a kind of maybe average of sales uh, maximum of sales and total sales so uh, this is bringing us somewhere we can you know try to find out region wise sales right so region wise sales group by years like 30 years what was the sale happened in the year 2021 sorry 2001 right we begin from 2000 or 2001 to all the way up to 2030 or 2031 right so we can see if there is an increase in the year on year sales a decrease in the year on year sales we can identify the best performing year the worst performing year right so uh, this sounds like a good use case now let's go to the code where i've written it as a cte and understand the workflow so here i have uh, named my cte as sales cte so i'm starting it with the keyword with right 
so with sales cte as now this is our query right what am i doing i'm extracting so according to the dd set we have the date right so the date is year month and date of that particular day right but we want just the year so we're using the year function to extract the year from the date as sales year region uh, sum of sales right we wanted to find out the total sales happened in that particular year as total sales from the data set excel data and grew by year right we wanted it in increasing order so 2000 to all the way up to 230 or uh, 2031 correct so that's how it is and i'm saving all this as a cte named as sales cte now i want to select some parts of that particular cte so i want to select sales air region total sales from sales cte which is right over here and order it in form of sales and region right now let's try to copy this code and run this in our workbench right now let's okay let me close this quickly so that we have a complete view of the code right so let's now select all the code so now we have selected this particular code let's try to run this and see the output there you go we okay we have the output but there is something wrong we did not get uh the years right so all the 30 years of data here it is grouped by region which is fine okay we don't want region we want to group it by year that's okay and the thing is we need to fix this particular year so maybe there is something wrong with the order date right so i think uh the database has saved this particular oh okay okay since this is generated by chat gpt maybe the data type of the date is other than data right other than date data type it may be string now we might have to do some type casting to change the data type of the order date and let's quickly do that so now we have updated the year so what we have done is just a uh, cast here right so we have uh, changed uh, the string type of date to the normal date which follows by year month and date so this is a simple type casting that you can do and uh, rest everything and we've also added a where condition so where uh, date is not added or date is equals to null then you can just uh, ignore that and uh, now let's try to execute this query and we have also removed that region thing right group by region or order by region so we want that to be ordered according to the uh, year which should start with uh, 2001 or the first uh, ever year uh, to the last ever year according to the data set now let's select the entire ct query and run that and check our outputs so there you go so you have the year on year sales from 2001 to all the way up to the year 2030 and 2031 right so that's how the cte or common uh, table expressions in sql or the with query in sql can be used and uh, with that we have come to the end of this session on common table expressions in sql if you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session or if you require the data set or the code document that we have used in this session then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be happy to help you as soon as possible until next time thank you for watching and stay tuned for more from simply learn Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.